So we have like uh, today is the live stream for the Azure Lane uh, to Love Rue collab, which is very exciting stuff. And uh, we're going to be watching this. So let's see what uh, cool stuff we get in here. I, uh, because it's in Japanese and there is no like auto translate or anything, we're just going to be checking everything. I obviously do not speak Japanese. I don't understand Japanese, but we'll figure something out. All right. So first and foremost, obviously here we get to see Lala here. So we can expect some announcement for like the ship girls, etc., etc. Um, as I was saying yesterday, I did a whole video on it. I think the most likely candidate for having a ship girl would be um, Lala, Momo, Nana, Darkness, uh, Katagawa, Haruna. Uh, that's six already. If I had to pick more, I would say Run, Run, Run. Um, and for eighth one, maybe Mea. Mea could be an option. Those would be the one I would say are the most likely candidates. Um, here we just saw Lala. Now we have Darkness. There's also maybe uh, the Magical Girl. Maybe or maybe the uh, I think the magic is she called Kayako? Kayako? Sayoko? Sayo? Sayako? I don't remember. There's a, there's a lot of girls in, in To Love Rue, to be honest, so it, it's kind of hard to predict, considering the amount. But at least like the first six uh, to eight, I said, I feel like I'm pretty likely. Uh, so that's what's currently running. Uh, let's get into the actual live stream. That's like everything that just happened. Like this is the most recent patch, right? So let's get to... Um, this is like the timer until the stream begins. There we go. All right, let's see. Oh, we have a whole PV. Let's go. Hi, I'm Delch. Hi, Christian. Oh, shit. So pretty. Oh. Happy. Is that a new PV? Is that an old one? I feel like that's an old PV. Ah! Why is that so cute? <laughs> I'll watch it anyway, I like it. Oh my god! She's the cutest dude! Don't spoil me, we're gonna be watching the whole thing! to watch the anime. I'm sure it's gonna be a disappointing experience, but I still want to watch the anime. <laughs> My World of Fortune is so cool. She looks great. I need to get her from the, the girl show. No, not the girl show. Oh, I had a question. I'll ask you later. Uh, oh, I'll ask you now. Uh, how do you increase your your max coin cap? Oh, that's the thing that darkness love eating. It's like a, a taiyaki. <laughs> Isn't his name like Mafia and always shows up in every single like gacha gacha live stream? <laughs> Just eat your shit! Ah, there is Taiyaki! Alright, let's see. So obviously we have like the, the spaceship there. It is Mafia, Gonbanwa! 
I'm sorry, I don't understand Japanese except a few words, so we, we gotta move in, move on. Oh? What is it? What does that mean? RPG, we get to see some of the stuff. The ring? Do, do we get this? Yeah, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's look into announcement. What do we have here? We have some girls I don't know coming. Ah, there we go. Okay. Now they're talking about Tula Brew. Ah. Hey, look at that. So that, that's Tool of Root Darkness, I'm pretty sure, right? Because Mea is only in darkness. And here we have Darkness, obviously, or Yami-chan. We have Mea here. They're kind of like sisters, essentially. Like, it, It's a long story. They're not technically sisters, but kind of because they, they were both made as weapons. And here we have Momo, obviously, who's like one of them. She's almost like the main heroine of Tool of Root Darkness. She's trying to enact the harem route. Tidavari! Yep, there it is, Tidavari Darkness. Harem! Told you! Yep. Etchi de! Yep. Darkness hates Etchi. <laughs> By the way, for those who don't know, it's called To Love Rue, but technically it's the, it's a pun. It's To Love as in trouble. Yeah, I know. Big pun. Let's go. All right, moving on. <laughs> I will say, they look very happy, and that, that's nice. They're having a good time, you know? Alright, let's see. Are we getting any announcements here? That's a lot of yap! Alright, let's go over here. Ochira so it's actually a collab with To Love Root Darkness specifically, not just To Love Root. <gasps> yes! Look at that! Okay, okay! Is that Belfast? So here we see, we have Darkness with our Tayaki, obviously we have Momo here. In the back, we had the two other sister with Lala and Nana. Absolutely awesome. So it is. People didn't believe me. I said La next week. People were like, nah, it ain't gonna be next week. This is gonna be a dead week. No, sir. It's next week. It's on the 21st. Let's freaking go. That's awesome! Man, they look great. Oh, it's so cute to see them like this! Pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and it lasts until the 5th of December. Until the release of Infinity Nikki. Okay, so that pretty much confirmed that, like, the sister trio and darkness. いただきます。こちらをご覧ください。Like I understand a few words there. They talked about the story. <laughs> they said "monogatari." <laughs> Man, they look so cute. I'm so happy to see them here. Like, they're gonna be yapping. We're gonna move on to like the actual showcase of the characters. Oh my god, of course she has her tentacle kind of like invention. 
<laughs> Simple out of doubt. Okay, so we get to see Lala and she's an SSR, as I imagined she would be. We indeed have her as an SSR and she looks great. She has a little costume here, she has Peke, and she has a little tentacle, tentacle invention. So this invention actually is a big suck. It, uh, it goes <laughs> and it sucks the people in. Hey, do you, do you, what's up? All right, looking good. Also, I will say, they, they certainly made the clothes be very, very tight. You can see here, like, on the detail. Like, it, it, this is skin tight. It, it looks almost like latex or something. Latex? Latex? Do you say latex or latex? Latex. Alright, so we have a first SSR here being announced, being Lala. Awesome. Lala! Lala! Here, this means Lala something something Debiluku. え、え、持ってない。いや、こんなもんですよ。こんなもんですよ。ちょっとやっぱ僕ら最近脳焼かれてるじゃん。はい。最近ちょっとなんか、ま、我々も悪いのか知らないんですけど、概念がちょっとこ
Uh, I'm happy to see here like the different colors. Like obviously they they stay with the with the colors, and here she is a um, like green and black. Makes a lot of sense. She looks great too. I'm super happy, dude. I'm so excited. That's already like three SSR, and we haven't talked about darkness yet. So we might be getting like four SSR, if not more. Like darkness, she has to be another SSR. Maybe after that, it's only gonna be elite or something. Uh, but like that's that's a lot of SSR, like right away. I would say darkness has to be an SSR. Now for the other characters, like who could be an SSR? Mea, maybe Mea could be an SSR. But I feel like Mea is more of a side character compared to the the sisters in darkness. So this, I feel like darkness might be the last SSR. <laughs> Unless they really want to go all in and they just give us like a, a crap ton of them, right? I need to learn at least the kanji to figure out like what character means like CL and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't know how you guys just fucking guess it easily. I wonder what kind of abilities they're gonna have though. Alright, let's see here. Alright, next! That's gotta be Darkness, right? We had the trio sisters. There she is! Yo, she looks so awesome! You can see here, so Darkness, she has the power to transform her body into anything. Uh, she is SSR, absolutely love to see it. And I would say she's probably a BB with the ringing she has. And you can see here that she has like she has the power to transform. You can see her hair is transforming into sword. That's so cool. That is so 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 cool. And I was talking yesterday about the outfit. Like she has like like ghost look with a lot of belt. Man, she looks awesome. Darkness is peak. Darkness is peak. She holds a gun with the hair. No, the gun is her hair. Like, her hair transformed into a gun. She can transform her entire body into anything. So, like, everything you see here, her rigging is her hair. You can see, like, her hair here is transforming into a big hand. She can punch with it. She has, like, her hair transforming into a sword. Her hair transforming into a gun. That looks awesome. So, is she BB? I mean, there's no plane here, so I assume she's, uh, she's, uh, she's, she's gonna be a battle... A battle, battle, battle. A pew pew! <laughs> a main sleep pew pew! That's the name! A battle cruiser? Is that the name? Matt, she looks awesome. She's BB, okay, awesome. So that's four SSR already. I feel, okay, who, who would they announce next? If I had to guess, I mean, they gotta announce this childhood friend, right? They gotta announce Haruna. Would she be next? Maybe Mea? I would say it's gonna be Haruna. It has to be Haruna. If it's not Haruna, maybe Kotegawa. Uh, Kotegawa is like the uh, the girl that keeps saying shameless. She's the one that's like, what are you doing? It's shameless! And she punches the protagonist every time. She's like the, the perfect like student council uh, school girl, right? Long black hair. Uh, but either that or Haruna. Haruna is like the, the short hair. She's the, the friend, the, the childhood friend. My cubes are never gonna recover. Yep. You gotta save for the collab. Let's go. So it has to be one of the two that I just mentioned. Because like those are the biggest like human girls, right? Um, the other possibilities would be like maybe Mea, which is like Darkness' sister. Um, maybe Terju, which is like the scientist that uh, cloned herself, which is like Darkness is the clone of Terju. Mika, Mika would be a possibility, obviously. Um, I feel like Mikan would end up being more of a, like an elite ship. If I had to say Haruna, my Avin, like I feel like Haruna, Mikan, I have some issues like seeing them as anything but as but uh, like elite. I don't see them being SSR at this point. We already have so many rare ships, right? <laughs> Musashi will be probably cool sooner or later. I mean, eventually, yeah. I think the next permanent... Who's the next permanent pool you are? I don't know, I would need to check the release date. You would head the devs and then put Mikan in. A lot of people really like Mikan. To be fair, Mikan is kinda cool, I like her. Haruna! Let's go! She's elite! Okay! 
Okay, guest it. How did I eat here? Oh, she looks so cute. She has like a bee cat. Is that a cat? I'm actually surprised that she's more like cat theme, considering that um, she's a bow cruiser. Okay. Uh, about BC. So like BC is like kind of a, a weird... Uh, what's the difference exactly between like a BB and a BC? Is it like a light BB or is I, I'm not sure exactly how that functions, but she looks interesting for sure. Um, what has me actually surprised is that a dog or is that a cat? Because this couldn't looks like the 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 pink thing makes me think of cats. I'm actually kind of surprised considering that she actually has a dog in the story. Uh, so that sounds like a, more like a but like she would be more like dog thingy. Why is she holding a fire extinguisher? I mean, you gotta make sure that she doesn't burn due to the HE weapons, right? Uh, also, I love the fact that, like, the extinguisher is clearly bonked here, so she probably hit people with it. <laughs> and I love that she has, like, several of them. <laughs> she ain't got no time. It's sold for extinguisher, actually. It, it, interestingly. Okay. I think this is actually a dog. I think it's actually her dog. Her dog is, like, um, like a black and white like this. So I do think this is supposed to represent her doggy. She has like a very small dog that's like super lewd. Uh, it's great to see Haruna. I was I was like worried they wouldn't like they wouldn't give us like the, the childhood friend. They gotta give us a childhood friend. <laughs> Wait, do I still have a kitty bonk emote? I do. <laughs> okay, it's great to see Haruna. I'm glad. And I think, as I was saying, I think that's it. We're not getting any more SSR, in my opinion. But that's already four SSR. That's a lot of SSR. But I think from now on, it's only going to be SR. <laughs> so now for what we have left, I think Mikan, Kotegawa, Mae, Mea, sorry, are likely suspects. Maybe Nemesis. I have doubts about Nemesis being in here. Maybe Saki-chan. Maybe the Samurai Girl. Uh, maybe Teruju. Maybe Misaka or Mikasa, which is like the, the nurse girl, right? The doctor. We still have a lot of options, but like... I mean, at this point, if they wanted to, they could put a lot of SR ships, right? I mean, we already have four SSR. Wouldn't be surprised if they decided to go with six SR for no reason. Aruna. Mitte mitte. Alright, who's next? Turaburu! It's so cool to see, I will say, it's so cool to see To Love Ru having a, a collab like this. Does it have often call? You know, To Love Ru would be a great collab for Nikkei, and I think about it. Alright, let's see. Ryu, stop spoiling me! I'm watching it! Next time I ban you! Alright, moving on. I'm gonna kick your ass! Alright, let's see. Who's next? I'll beat you up! Let me enjoy this! Now, there she is. Okay, so we have her here. So this is Kotegawa. She's the one that keeps saying, you're shameless. As I was saying, she's like the, 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 she's like the perfect student. She goes around, she gets in the happy when you, you be like here. And now she is CV indeed, as you were saying. So we get another elite sheep. And she looks cool. She looks cool. I like her. I think she's funny. Uh, obviously, all the characters here are in love with the protagonist. It is what it is. Um... <laughs> That's an interesting rigging, to be honest. Like, I don't know why they went with this, like, in terms of story element. Um, I'm glad to see that. I, I was pretty spot on in terms of, like, which character would be here. Now, from now on, because a little bit more sussy baka, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe the reason why it's, like, this kind of, like, uh, stand in the back is because she tends to physically abuse the protagonist. To be fair. The protagonist, it's not his choice, it's an accident, but it does kind of like sexually abuse people. Okay, it doesn't like sexual... I would say intent matters, he falls and he grabs people's booba, right? 
And so she tends to punch him as a result. So maybe decides to go with like the whole, <laughs> you're being bad, I'm gonna punch you back. It is a judgment stand, it is. All right, I would say next, it's either gonna be Mikan or Mea. Like who, who, yeah, I feel like it's gotta be some of the main characters, right? So Mikan or Mea, maybe. All right, let's see. Let's see who's next. <laughs> did he just say Yuki? Did he just say Mikan? I think he said Yuki Mikan. Wait, what did he say? <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's being he's being sussy baka. <laughs> Where's the you are Shib Yuki Mikan? Yeah, I mean, it's not wrong. <laughs> but people love Mikan. I didn't know people love Mikan so much. It's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I do love the the discrepancy between like the bull man named Mafia wearing black a leather jacket is like where's my waifus? <laughs> no way that's it. Where's Mikan? Is that nothing more before he said this? Damn. Is there actually only six ships? No way! Oh, that's so sad! No, Mikan! Oh. oh, we see her here. So she has a big laser. Okay, so now we get to see like the characters, right? Oh, that's so sad! I expected so many more. All right, let's see them here. So yeah, we see the whole lineup here. So we have Lala here, Darkness, um, Lala, Darkness, Momo, Nana, Haruna, and Kotegawa. Wow, I'm surprised. I expected way, way more. I expected like eight or ten actually. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, I, I actually really like this. That's a cool ass weapon there. She has a massive laser and then with all the kokoros. The tail beam, of course, she has a tail beam. Okay, here we see Nana. They all have that laser. Here we have Momo. She spawns tentacles. Holy crap! Because, of course, she does. Okay, look at that. What she fires in the shape of the heart. Let me see Momo again. Like, so she sends a penguin that shows, like, that throws a bunch of torpedoes. That's pretty cool. Like, so she summons a penguin that throws torpedoes. And here she summons plants that shoots, like, big bombs. And her barrage is, like, a heart-shaped. That's pretty cool. Back to Nana. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is not Nana. This is uh, Darkness here. And she's, uh, she does, like, a sword attack. That's, like, a whole line of damage here we saw. And there... Oh, damn! That's cool! Look at that! Damn! All of her sword hair is coming in. Coming in hot. That's a wide AoE, dude. Oh, so cute. Obviously, it's in the shape of a... It's kind of like a... Oh, you know what this is, actually? This, rem this remind me of like the plants, like the she gets the flower and then she becomes in love instantly. There's a plane flying super low, it's so noisy, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Little Kokoro here, it's super cute. And here we have Kotegawa in the back. Oh! <laughs> what was that? That's like some... She's throwing some logs? And then some like handcuffs, I guess? That's kind of cool. There was some extinguisher in the back too. Oh, I didn't see when she was throwing the extinguisher. Let me see. Oh yeah, you're right. That's a big extinguisher. Okay, that's that's funny. 
Let's okay, really cool to see all of that. All right, they seem to have some very interesting pattern, especially the SSR. Okay. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I like that. All right, we, here we see the pictures of all of them, obviously. Oh, let me see something real quick. So those three are pickup, so they are going to be on the banner. And here we don't see any pickup. So the banner is going to be Nana, Lala, Darkness, and Haruna. Momo is going to be the farmable one. Um, so I think she's going to be on banner, maybe, but she does not, she probably isn't going to get a rate up and you're going to be able to farm her on the map, right? She's going to be the B3, D3 sheep that's also going to be in the shop, it seems. And we don't have Kotegawa here, so I assume Kotegawa is going to be the one that you get from accumulating points. Uh, you get her from, like, uh, like, like she's the, the, the threshold one you get from the event, right? So like... Maybe at 5k points, you get one copy of Kotegawa, you can get like multiple copies up to like 50k or something. So that seems to be how they're gonna be doing it, right? So that is the shop, I assume. Uh, classic, yeah, we, this is the shop, yeah. Okay. Alright. Hey, right cheek, how are you doing today? Okay, we, we do have some Series 7 for the blueprints. I mean, obviously, since it's a new event. Uh, the shop is going to be lasting a bit longer, right? The event ends on the 5th, but the shop is going to be here a week longer until the 11th. And Kotegawa, yeah, there she is. You get her from getting points, right? You get her for free from just getting points. So she's not in the shop, she's not on the banner. She's the free unit you get just from participating in the event, essentially. So at least get yourself a copy. It's going to be easy to get a copy. I think just from doing the event, at least doing like all the stages, you are going to get guaranteed to have one of her. All right. And they all have some augmented seams. Is that, uh, I mean, I assume this is something that happens when you get like collab ships, right? They all have an augment automatically. So here she has like a special wand. Here the penguin, the flower, uh, the hair, hand and sword. <laughs> the... <laughs> it's kind of funny to me that like uh, Haruna, uh, Haruna is a SR ships. Uh, she's a lily ship, but like her extinguisher says you are. <laughs> Hey guys, we got a new R! First UR collab ship, insane! Yeah, the extinguisher is UR, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, Hadana is hell by the way. I know, I know! Like, those two are elites. Uh, they're S. Okay, it's kind of like SR are named elite, right? Um, so, yeah, that's funny. Let's say for the collapse, we should be at a super important in the future. Yeah. あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
Alright, we get to see all of the uh we get to see the how it looks in game. Those are the stars. Oh that's badass! <laughs> They're huge! <laughs> I like the rose. Oh my god, those are insanely big! <laughs> that's nine of small flower! The black roses are insanely good though, I will say. Those are kind of meh. I don't really care for them. The dolphins are kind of cute. I, I kind of like the dolphins, actually. I think they, they're adorable. That's how I need the whole... Can I put the face on Sao Martin? Of course. Uh, that's kind of nice. The torpedoes... Uh, I, I like the dolphin ones. Those are kind of nice. Are those... Uh, um... Those, those are like the the, the the planes, right? But like the gray one is kind of like whatever. Like these, like I, I don't really care for those. I like the spaceship though. Do, 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 do. And I, I, I do like, uh, I like the sword. I think they're cool. Mm. Alright, let's see. What else we have, la? Show me, show me, show me. Ah, there it is. A new set. Oh, that's so cool! We get, we get uh, Lala's room. So we get Lala's lab. Actually, that's really cool. I think this is the thing that changes like your body stuff. That's the machine that sucks um, everybody's clothes and panties specifically. That's the uh, that's the skunk that when it um, it farts on you, it makes you younger. Uh, I don't remember about the crab, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really remember about this weird plushie either. But like, I remember a bunch of those stuff, and that's obviously like her control panel. Uh, there's a lot of- that's cute! Oh man, I gotta get that. Is that gonna be paid? We get a really good dorm and chibi interaction. I think the, a lot of things here is very, very cute. I like all the flowers too. Oh, that's adorable! Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Ah! <laughs> Look at her! Oh my god, I just realized it's because you're touching her tail. Ah! She's like, no, not the tail! <laughs> ah! Dark is so cute! Oh! Oh, that is so vacuum cleaner. Oh, that's great. That is so adorable. Oh, the crab is going fucking mad here. Okay, I love this so much. Oh. Okay. The Roomba, yeah. Ah, oh, she's so happy, look! What was going on here? What's the crab doing? Oh yeah, so you can actually sit on this thingy? Fish Roomba. Oh, you can put them on the big seat here. That's cool! Love to see it! Because uh, the guy is like, No! Oh, that's shameless! That's shameless! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love how nice it Oh! They're just posing here in front of the thingy? <laughs> She's like, oh yeah. Do they all have a different pose when you put them in front of the thing? They do! That's awesome! That, that is awesome! They all have a different little pose when you put them in front of the... the... I, I love Kotega, okay? He's so mad in the background! He's like, how dare you! Shameless! Okay, okay, show you. What is she gonna do? Oh, she's just there crying. Oh my god. She's in a panic. Oh, the flower! Look at that! She says Tayaki, as she does. I wonder if uh, Nana summons like animals during her idol. Oh, Daphne's being super mad. This is so cool! Like, I'm so glad I decided to reread the entire Tier 2 Love Rue since it's been announced. Because, like, I'm loving everything they've put here. I feel like they've put so much effort to to really, like, bring the 2 Love Rue collab to life in the Suzu Lane. Um, to love Rue, I appeal live in this is your link collab. This is 
awesome. Like all the small detail, it's so good. It is so good. Uh, I bought a pack that had a random skin, like the L2D thing, and I got uh, the red head with the, the horn girl skin. I'll show you after. Whoa! She just disappeared inside the thing! <laughs> That's great! It just looks bonk! <laughs> Bonk! <laughs> so they get sucked by the mirror! That's great. Yeah, that skin, uh, right cheek, exactly. I don't know what her name is. Actually, a uh, Von Parcival, maybe? Is that her? It's very, very cute. I like it a lot. Oh, Hindenburg? Okay. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, we have a little new mini game! Oh, so you give you indication first and then you gotta you gotta ditch in time. Alright. That's that's a cool mini game. Alright, what do we have next? We have the two level okay, we have the skins now. That's the good good. To be fair, the manga and anime are more lewd. They didn't go all out. They didn't go all out. But it's pretty lewd still. That's some good shit. I appreciate that they, they, they did... They are representing to love Rue properly, right? That is nice. <laughs> Picky in the back. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that is pretty cool. I'm still. Oh, God, sorry. Alright, next should be uh, Nana. If they keep the same order as they show them, it should be Nana next. There she is! Okay! And this one is pretty chill! I appreciate that! You know what? I kinda like this one. Uh, we we see she's obsessed with the pitokan. pitonkan. It's like uh, being a flat board, right? Being flat chested. Uh, and uh, it's nice! Like, she's in casual wear, she has booty short. I think this skin is kinda cute! I think it's kinda cute! She's playing card with her sister too. That's, uh, that's adorable! Um, also, it's for the people who like the feet. It's a Manju book. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, Manjus in the back here. It's really, really cute. Uh, this skin is pretty cute. I like it. It's adorable. <laughs> Nana's looking absolutely adorable here. <laughs> and Momo, obviously, in the back, being like, ah, I lost! <laughs> That's a great skin! <laughs> okay, okay. So next should be... I think it was Darkness before Momo. So let's see Yami. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we get Momo first. <laughs> yep. I'm not surprised with this one. Momo is the one who always gets into uh, the bed with the protagonist. And the protagonist, when he's asleep, he, uh, he always dreams of marshmallows and delicious pastries. And um, so he fondles breasts and um, ass and numbs on teats or on the tail, which is, you know, an original zone. So yeah, this is this is classic Momo. She always gets in bed to use to train uh, to train uh, the protagonist. Riku's room, yep. It looks like it. It's not exactly the same disposition because Riku's room, the bed would be in the back. Um, so the window, the bed would be against the window. So this is this isn't exactly his room, but it's close enough. It's been slightly rearranged. <laughs> like, the bed right now should be in the back. Uh, that's pretty much it. Essentially, the window would be on our side. 
<laughs> but it, it's uh, it's still very close, yeah. <laughs> it's a Riku's room. It's not Riku's room. It's our room. <laughs> it's our room. <laughs> okay, looking good. Of course. Of course. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. All right, defeat the pansu. Hey, again. <laughs> While they're representing the spirit of two love room, it could be worse. And by worse, I mean it could be any panel of the manga. Any panel of the manga is ten times, a hundred times more edgy than this. This is nothing compared to the manga. The manga is softcore porn. You know what? Not even true. The manga is just porn. <laughs> so, it's not that bad. Now, the manga has boobs out, tits uncensored, tentacle porn action happening. I'm not even joking. So, it, it's not even as bad as the manga. Mm. But uh, um, obviously there's some limits to what they can do when it comes to edginess uh, If they don't want to wreck their ratings etc. But uh, this looks good. This is cute uh, Yeah, anyway <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, let's see. We should have some skin for the elite ships too, right? Aruna and Kotogawa Oh yeah, absolutely Ryu Oh, that's adorable. Okay, I love this. That is absolutely adorable. Why is she drinking coffee at night, though? Is she crazy? Okay, this is very, very cute. I like it. Aruna looking very modest and very adorable. We love it. And then finally, we should have Kotegawa. I love like the, the little uh, bear cushion, the bed is very cute, she has an alarm. That, that's adorable, I like this skin a lot. It's simple but uh, effective. Yeah, Kodagawa looking good. It, it's a very similar, it's like a, it's a nightgown. What? What does this mean? Is that because he's talking about the creepers? Is it because it's the creepers? Is the, does he do that every time there's feet on the screen? What's going on? <laughs> Alright, those skins are pretty good overall. I like them. They went all out. Very cool. Alright, that should be it for the skins. Let's see. Now we get new skin for current character. That's a motion skin too. So when they say motion, that's dynamic, right? It's not L2D. Interesting. Uh, man, this girl is so pretty. Who is she again? Yeah, it's pajama themed, yeah. Oh, I missed the skin. Oh, I misclicked. Man, considering I just got, considering I recently got the maid skin, I feel like I've made a mistake. This skin is so pretty. I made a mistake, chat. Oh, that is so cute. I actually prefer it to the maid skin. There's a thing with the maid skin's booba that I like. It's just, I think the top is a bit much. This is adorable. Oh my god, it's so good. This one's better than the maid, I agree. They're both good, they're both good, but this... I'm gonna have to buy it, chat. It's so freaking pretty. That's a motion too? Damn, it's good. Damn, it's good. Holy crap. That is absolutely great. Then we had this one, who also looks pretty good, right? It's the pajama theme. As I was saying earlier, like the see-through um, shirt, it's not necessarily my favorite um, trope, let's say. But I mean, she looks fantastic. We get to see some very sleepy manjus. Uh, it's a, it's cute, it's cute. 
I definitely see the appeal, you know, the, the see-through shirt. It's like the, um, it's like the boyfriend shirt, right? Uh, with the tights as well. It's, it's very appealing. Uh, so yeah. The wife Ulrich can't be that cute, and yet she does! Be that cute! Uh, okay, so we see all the new skins here. They're gonna be available until the 4th of December. Uh, essentially until the beginning of the, the 5th of December. Whoops, I pressed a button by mistake. Let me go back to where we were. I apologize for the shenanigans. We were here. There we go. Uh, I, I guess they, they are giving some details here. Is it the price? Yeah, I'm not too sure here. <laughs> Maybe it was like the dynamic ones. Oh, the rental. Thank you, RC. Are those new? So that's Bismarck's Vey. No, those are, those are reruns, right? So that Bismarck's Vey, that's... Uh, I don't remember her name. Uh, that, is that Bremerton? I don't know who this girl is. Um, I don't remember the name. Tingan, okay. It is Bermaton, okay. So... Okay. Wait, meta? Is that new? Did, wait, did she always have a meta? So we're getting Gulio meta and West Raid Cruise Pass. Okay, so we are getting Julio, Julio Meta as the next Meta ship for the Cruise Pass mission. And we're getting um, Wes, Wesem Maid outfits from the, from the Battle Pass, right? Wesem Maid, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, okay, that's, that's pretty cool. Is that a new furniture that we can uh, buy for her? For Sirius? I assume that's the case. I assume that's new furniture for her. Yeah, roll tea set. Oh, it might be a new gift. So there's like special gift you can give to Sirius. It unlocks you like a small scene and stuff. It's a new mode? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. New memories? Okay, so the memories, that's the ASMR stuff, right? Um, so you need to, like, get the secret keys and then you can unlock them. You get a free, a free few ones per month. Or you can just buy them, of course. Um, you can uh, <coughs> watch them for free <coughs> on YouTube, <coughs> but yeah, it's here. That's cool. Uh, that's merch, like a postcard. Here we got some art with signatures. I assume it's from the Tool of Rue creator. I assume. Who knows? Maybe not. Maybe it's signed by the team here. Anniversary art collection. That's like the... Isn't that the ASMR stuff that was shown recently? And then we got merch, 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 merch. That's all gonna be merch, right? Oh, crap, look at that. We get a whole ass uh, figure in. Jesus, we can't watch that. Jesus! Okay! Yeah, uh... Nice, that's cute. <laughs> Mafia, what are you doing? <laughs> Alright. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, we have more information here. Okay, we have more information. So they're talking about the events. It's a recap of everything here. But they also show some of the, the package you'll be able to buy here. So classic... That's the classic stuff. You can buy some oil, you can buy some coin and some uh, resort, like snacks for the dorm. You can buy some cubes and coin and some cognitive chips. So that's the good good. You can buy... that. That Those are the classic packs, right? So you can buy some skill books, all the good good. 
Uh, but what has me more interested, obviously, there it is. We are getting a pack here that gives us some coins. It's it's a little bit of everything, including a bullion, so this is nice. So we like those. I might get it just for funds. We'll see. There's probably gotta be like a, a random like pack for for one of the skins, right? Um, they're talking a lot about the stuff. Oh, what's over here? Oh, that was the 7th anniversary thing, yeah. Man, that's so badass, I love this. Is out of idol skin there on the Black Friday? I don't know, actually. Alright, that's pretty much it. We'll watch the end of the PV, then uh, call it there. Is that Jen Bart? Shukaku, Zuikaku. Oh, how cute! That was the skin I said I loved. With the with the cap, I was talking about it last time. Yorktown? Oh! Lazy Indomitable! My wife! Jeez! Alright, that was cool! That was great! Great livestream, I would say! Um... Uh... Yeah, that's awesome. I'm actually kind of surprised that we only get uh, we only get six ships. I'm surprised about that. I mean, I'm not like disappointed, but I'm surprised. Uh, I, I was expecting more, but uh, I mean, regardless, six, four SSR, two SR. Uh, we get some some of the main characters. Decided to just focus on those, which I entirely understand. And uh, they're looking very, very interesting. Um, I'm going to try to get everyone, obviously. It's a collab. I don't want to miss out. Don't miss out either. You're going to regret it. I think they they almost... Like, unless they do another collab in the future that is also with Tool of Rue, we're probably not going to get a rerun ever. So don't bet on it. I would say try to get at least one of each, right? Um, try to get one of each. And uh, yeah, that would be my thoughts. I am looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a good time. It's going to be next week. We're not getting a dead week in between. So, you know, save your cubes. I would say do try to get Musashi. Obviously, we get a lot of free pools. Once you get Musashi, I would say stop there. Save your cubes. Only use tickets from there on. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited. I'll be streaming it, obviously. And uh, good shit. Good shit. Hell yeah.